After graduating from Sheridan College, Akil McKenzie wasn't eager to enter the environment the commercial industry created, even though originally he'd planned to work his way up. But I didn't want to be feeding into that lifestyle in the way that the industry was saying film had to be. Thus, I was like, let me just start it now because I want to have a space where I can be the kind of creative I want to be and everyone with me can be the kind of creative they want to be instead of us waiting till we're like beaten and broken and then reiterating the same thing on others. They started making promos, music videos, and capturing weddings, creating high quality productions for Halton clients without having to outsource to Toronto. Then he got a referral from his alma mater leading to his first film, Legacy Voices. Everything we were filming was going to be put into a time capsule for the Oakville Museum and then it gets to stay there for like time and that's always been a dream of mine when it's like when you make something to make something that's going to last. Give others information um, and outlook on things that they didn't know already so I was like oh my god everything about this just eating it up and I wanted to share that with people. The film spotlights elderly members of Halton and their experience as some of the first black residents in the region. A lot of the times there are things that we don't know to look for. And there are so many pieces as I was filming the documentary that I was learning about that I was never aware of. Like I had no idea that Oakville was like the main hub for KKK. Had no idea. And I was just like la-di-da-di-da -di -da in Sheridan, just enjoying like my schooling and didn't know what was happening for me to be like how I am and where I am here now. We were living an amazing time. We want to leave a good legacy for the young people. The success of the first allowed for a second film, which is debuting at the Oakville Festival of Film and Arts. This time, he speaks with seniors not about the past, but the future. How are the children of today getting through their things? How are the children inspiring them to realize what our future could be looking like? Um, and I think one of the, one really cool part of the movie is when one of our interviewees states, the important people that sculpt the world can be the interactions between children and teacher. Like just something a child can say in an environment can be the difference for an entire community. While on set for Legacy Voices 2, Akil realized Falling Motion has achieved his original intention. We only needed half the crew for the first half of the day, and then they were able to go. Um, the full crew stayed for the entire day, even though they were let off. And I was like, why are you guys still here? Like, like it's over. Um, we're, we don't need you. And they looked and they were like, well, it's a Saturday. And honestly, just being on set it just feels like a good time and I, I don't want to go anywhere else. Like this is a great place to be right now. And not gonna lie, watered up. <laughs> uh, you're all just here because you like being here? That's, that's, that's wild to me. And it came full circle to the idea of wanting to start the company. But you were leaving this legacy for kids so that others may follow. Whatever it is that you love and what you have to bring, is something that actually is assisting the people in the city around you. 